Tuesday, 11th of January is a day many residents of Ikari Akoko will not forget. That day, bloodthirsty and robbers unleashed terror on the town known for its huge commercial activities. On the fateful day, many residents did not know that death was locking as the bandits killed more than 21 people in the unfortunate incident that has left many residents devastated. After the casualty ceased to have policemen, the attack was made possible after the armored personnel carrier and some police vans were vandalized by the robbers. The attack came two years after a raid was carried out in the town. Some residents who witnessed the incident narrated their experiences. So the girl was loading, as the girl was loading, the two other guys that they lined, they shot them and it was clear headshots. They were all both shot in the head. The, there was a secondary student among a secondary school student among them. His skull opened. We saw people coming down from this side. We, our thought was that they were coming here to withdraw money or making bank transaction. So before we could know it, they started shooting sporadically. So the, so many people were inside the bank, people were running for their life. Worried by the dangerous trend, residents of the community have continued to vent their anger via protest. In fact, it has been one day, one protest in the Itato peaceful community. Even major markets were closed to further demonstrate their anger. The protesters who are mainly youths are also unhappy with the way policemen have been arresting helpless youths in the community in the course of their investigation. We are saying no to the activities of the divisional police officer here in Ikare. Ever since those robbers came to attack us here, he has taken advantage to be arresting people. Every day, he will take about 100 bikes, taking 5,000 from them to build their bikes, going to bars, hotels, arresting people, all in the name to get money from all these people. The current people are saying no, that these industries that have been a huge development to this town cannot just go that way. That is why the entire collective intelligence of the Korea Koko came up together and say we are going to say, collectively say no to harm robbery, we are going to say no to insecurity and we are calling on government to wake up to their civil, to their civic responsibilities. The monarch of the town, the Olu Kare of Ikare, is distraught about the ugly state of affairs. He stressed the need for the deployment of more security personnel to the community. They can help us increase the number of security men in the, com in the community because they need more policemen, more um, uh, more this, um, soldiers. Like the, like the monarch, prominent indigents across political divides have given their own suggestions on how a recurrent can be avoided. Uh, our request has been that the current need more um, security presence. You know, yeah, we apart from having more formation, more military formation to to to, to police the Kare, at least we need a command of uh, the Nigerian police. If they know from the history of bank robbery that a Kare is a flashpoint, then they, must, they ought to have done something about it, give Akare an area command, then fortify the military base here. We have military base here, but not uh, enough. The police in the state have however vowed to apprehend those behind the robbery attack. The state commission of police says the command is on the trail of the robbers. We have gotten some intelligence about them. With time, God's willing. They will fall into our hands again. Although the police have promised to mask those behind the dastardly act, residents of Ikari Akoko want appropriate action to be taken to prevent a recurrence of such mindless killings by the men of the underworld. Ayodeji Moradeo, TVC News, Nigeria, Undo.